finish him. Mm, get redacted. Can I? Okay. Satisfying. I feel a little bad. Even if uh, it was an ephemeral partnership, that was still a homie. Alright friends, welcome back to another episode of our Control Let's Play. Uh, in the previous episode, we went and we tried to help poor Phil uh, up at the refrigerator. Um, we, we tried to relieve him of fridge duty, but sadly, uh, after a long day of staring at that fridge, Phil finally blinked and uh, he paid for it. But then we, uh, we found out we could basically cleanse altered items kind of the same way we do objects of power without getting any bonuses from them. So, uh, yeah, uh, Fred has been asking us to go do cleanups on the, the altered items that have escaped. So, uh, we did one round of them, <clears throat> and, uh, then he gave us a second one, which we have in the top left up there. And, uh, that's gonna take us to the Prime Candidate program, which is the next step for the, um, the, uh, the main story. So we're gonna take care of the other ones, which are in other places. Specifically, we're going to start in protective studies for um, research. So wherever that is, right next to the ritual division. Uh, and while we load in, if you would do me a favor and yeet that subscribe button, turn notifications on, dab on that like as well. Uh, a, the like helps with the, the algorithm. B, the, uh, the subscription would be very appreciated as I'm trying to hit a goal of 100 subscribers by the end of 2021. And, uh, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, and we'll get into it. Hey, hello. Wait. Fire extinguisher, you failed me. Yay! Okay. Bench definitely did not fail. Yay! Damn all. Now, what the hell else is going on here? Staff Officer ID N-314. I was really hoping that would kill him. Yay. Oh, I guess we're accidentally doing a uh, an alert or whatever it is. Yay. Yay. That's fine. All's well that ends well. What do I have to do to, like, do I have to turn that in? I don't know. Uh, which way is the protective studies? It's this way. Whoops. Oh, let's heck and go, dude. We're looking for a... Oh, the rubber duck! I wanted to do... Uh, I wanted to, like, talk to the rubber duck, because I think that thing said, speak to it. How do we... How do we open it? Well, what do we... What's the strat here? No computer terminal I can interact with. There is a door back there, but usually it's this door you have to go through. <laughs> All right, we'll go. We'll go around in here and see what we find. I wanna know. Excuse me. Quack, quack. Is this a different rubber duck? I think it might be. Or is this more of that mold stuff? Yucky. Yeah, that is, that is definitely quacking. Oh, 
here. Well, thankfully I can get back up. Oh hey! Disappearing ducks. Great. <laughs> that was uh, that was a good noise. Probably not a good idea to leave that open, but you know, I'm sure it's fine. I heard it elsewhere. I really thought that was just a nondescript door in the wall. Please? Come back? I just want to help! Kind of a weird ass duck. Doesn't sound right. Whoop. I wonder if they can get healed past the uh, C's threshold. I don't think they do. He lost the, the icon the moment I started channeling. Yay. Quack, quack. I guess it's still in protective studies? Yeah, I walked right past it. Right. Now there's an alarm? Should I be concerned? Fuck! Now I'm stuck in a box. Hello? Thank you. We got you. We got you. Finally. Yay. No more quacking. I thought it got away. Uh, what was that? Rubber duck procedures. Direct contact with the item is not permitted. Safety gloves are required when handling. Item is a yellow rubber duck bath toy from the 1950s. A single hole at the bottom allows air and water to flow in and out. The item makes a sound analogous to quacking. The item travels considerable distances with surprising speed. How to cheese this motion is unknown. The item forms a redacted of unknown purpose with anyone who makes direct physical contact with it and begins to follow them quacking often. This has led to a researcher named Redacted entering cardiac arrest, though due to the individual's health issues, the matter may not be connected to the item's effect. Uh, item on loan to the research sector for further study. Nice, nice. I imagine the research department was uh, the... Uh, Progenitor of that tape that we listened to several episodes ago when we came through here the first time. So, duck is taken care of. Uh, next is the th sealed threshold corridor. Yeet. We dabbed on that duck for sure. He may have dipped duck. Dutch, uh, like, what are the five Ds of dodgeball? How do how do I forget that? You know what? Forget it. I'm, I'm we're moving on. We're taking care of this flamingo. Not having it today. Uh, looking for a flamingo. Couldn't he have just sent me on the, the hunt for, I don't know, a clock? I, I could find a clock pretty easily in this place. Sealed threshold checkpoint, that's the really awkward footage. Don't really want to watch it, and we need to stay in the corridor anyways. Yo, if things were fine just a second ago, what's the problem? Too much smoke. Most times the smoke is cool, but sometimes it's a little excessive. Yeet. Yo, y'all ain't gonna line up for me? Come on, folks. Didn't realize we were coming up on time already. I have no energy. Yeet. 
button now. We did not get that. This was the way we came. One day we'll figure out how to navigate this place. We got an astral blip. Nice. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh. That's promising. Aha! Oh. Hello? This is very pink. What's up, buddy? That's got to be an altered item. Yeah, that would imply. Um. Wait, the floor is lava? What? Shit. Should have let my energy recharge. No! No! Thank you! Yeet! This thing again. Let's get that going. What's up, buddy? Yay. Let's say that went rather well. Woo! Yay. Didn't even get an attack off. Hell yeah. Yeah, what's that over there? I should have gone. I never did like flamingos. Me neither. Pink. It's just weird, dude. Alright, so that leaves us with only one more, uh, one more thing to go get, and you know what that is. The mannequin from the Prime Candidate Program. Which should be actually we actually we should go back to logistics and head up past security. Uh back to the locked area. I think that required a level six key card, which we have now. But this should take us to the prime candidate program, which would then lead us to the uh, the story. Look at that. Also, the transit corridor. Yo, you can't just shoot somebody you don't know like that. The heck? These hiss got no respect. Locate the mirror in synchronicity. Yo, I was wondering if we'd be able to... Or I remember reading about that. And uh, it sounded like fun. We'll have to do that eventually. Uh, Victorian Mirror AI 60 UE uh, redacted. She was admitted to a mental ward for emotional instability soon after relocating to Illinois with her family in 1914. The item only appears on record again in 2006 when the Bureau investigated a sudden rise in. <laughs> Yeet. Excuse me. A sudden rise in disappearances in redacted Illinois. Agents found the item hanging in the local library. They contained it quickly, though the missing people of the town were never recovered. Whoa. Supplementary materials date August 18th, 1915. We certify that the case of Mrs. Redacted has shown her to be a lunatic under the reasons of hyster hysteria, bad company, and imaginary female trouble. What the fuck? Her fixation with the family looking glass is noteworthy, though not an uncommon matter when considering the female dis- Bruh. This really was written in 1915. Mrs. Carver is a fit subject for the lunatic asylum and will remain in, the, in its confines until her affliction has passed. Signed, Dr. Redacted. Good thing that dude's name is Redacted because he definitely would have gotten fired. Should have gotten fired. Uh, we missed uh, the other one. The uh, Pink Flamingo procedures. No unique procedure required. Altered status is suspected but unverified. A plastic pink flamingo lawn ornament. Two steel prongs extend from its underside. 
item is, uh, is suspected to influence atmospheric physics, altering, altering meteorological phenomenon in the area. This effect is currently unconfirmed. Appendix new altered effect has been observed. See file AI46.D for details. That may not be the right... Uh... Category, I think it might be. Could have been. Yeah, that's the only one that really fits. So, we'll do that later. We'll do this now. No, wait, we still need. Still missing. The mannequin. We'll do that first. Whoa. Hey, that's bold font. It's been a while since we've seen Trench. Whoa, whoa, whoa. P7. Who's that? I'm not a fan of that noise. Yay! Y'all want to do me a favor and line up, please? I mean, they kind of did, but I, I messed it up. That's my bad. That's on me. Yay. Whoa. This uh, was not how I expected this room to progress. Hey. What's up, buddy? Can I? Can I? I can't! Bummer, dude. I really wanted to redact that dude. Please, stop exploding on me. It's rude. I don't like it. What? Hey. Uh, is, is that wall screeching at me from here? Alright, where is the stuff? Oh, hey. Okay, there is no stuff. I was looking for red boxes to shoot. I think it, it could be, uh, it would be interestingly unsettling if every once in a while, like every couple of shelters, we found them full of people. But they were all floating like the, you know, the his people. Just chanting and stuff like that. That would be really, really sad. I, I would probably be genuinely uh, perturbed. But again with this, uh, you know. Uh, this kind of swivelly stuff. I'm not sure that's ideal. Or structurally sound. But then again, there is a mannequin right there. What's up? Thing creepier than one mannequin is a few dozen of the damn things. True. Mannequins are pretty creepy, but I gotta say, I'd say uh, I really think dolls are creepier. Was once in an old family home in New England. Like really old family home and uh, I was kind of wandering around because it was a big house and I found this old stairway and uh, at the top there was two dolls just staring down the the, the thing uh, the, the stairwell and all I could see was their their like eyes it was just it freaked me the fuck out and yeah I was younger at the time so I got scared a little more easily but I definitely would have been at least half as scared at my current age. Uh, what are we doing here? This is interactable somehow. Uh, but yeah. Dolls are scarier, mannequins still weird. 
Bright Falls, ah, 35. Alice Wake, Mr. Wake's wife, was found during the Bureau investigation. She was interviewed and evaluated. She showed signs of severe mental trauma in the form of redacted memory loss. She was later directed to treatment. It was concluded that she had been trapped in the threshold during its manifestation. Notable individuals still missing after the Bright Falls event are FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale and Dr. Emil Hartman. Refer to the creator's dilemma and the file read the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Bureau researchers believe this event was the result of a forceful perception of subjective reality stemming from Mr. Wake overlapping on our own. Wake has been flagged as a potential para-utilitarian. See Prime Candidate Program file for more details. In 2011, a book by Clay Stewart titled The Alan Wake Files was published by Roundabout Press, New York and Olympia. Agents interviewed Clay Stewart and suspected minor para-utilitarian sensitivity. He was placed under indefinite surveillance. Notes, a monitoring station was established at Cauldron Lake to alert the Bureau of any future activity. Interesting, interesting. Now oh, the hotline. Trench, a two minute hotline. Come on, dude. We got stuff After to do. After North Moore stepped down, I doubled every effort to find new prime candidates. There was no one. No one but me. Uh -huh. That wasn't good enough. I pushed hard. I never wanted the Bureau to end up in that situation again. The Bureau needs a director. Always. Keep saying that. My time but why? Is an end. I want more options on the table. P1 through P5 were all false leads, dead ends, and disappointments. Then, P6. Dylan Faden. He fell into our arms. No parents. They're gone casualties of an AWE. Uh -huh. The boy has exceptional talent. The oldest house will be his home. We'll build him from the ground up. Don't think he did a real good job of that. Of. Darling can be in charge of this project. I can't. I'll stay away. I will not fail the boy like I failed my own family. My daughter and my wife. Well... I think Darling did his own kind of failing. Then, something came home with me. I took work home. My Susanna got sick. When I realized my mistake, I wanted to bring her here for Darling to do what he could. Kate flat out refused. Civilian doctors treated our daughter, but they didn't have a clue. She died. Kate left me. Same old story. That was a long time ago. The Bureau is all I have now. And the Prime Candidates are our future. There are two. P6 and P7. We're spoiled for choice. Yeah, buddy. But, I mean, come on, dude. He brought hazardous materials home I think we just need to find the right mannequin I guess that's what we're doing oh hey p7 hey we'll find the right one I don't think it's any of those but I, I, I'm still paranoid that it could be one of them so I'm gonna check Does it have to do with the talking? Probably not. That is definitely a hiss trademark. So there aren't really any mannequins on the bottom. not all facing the same way or anything like that. Oh, hey. That's a lamp. Oh, hey. How you doing? Yeet.
I like that policy. Now, before we uh, continue with turning that in, hopefully he does not have any extra altered items for me to deal with. Waste Mannequin AI7-KE, no known procedures for preventing the item's effect. Update 390, aligning the item cell with the newly discovered black rock has yielded positive results. Tests with other, with other altered items. Uh, a wire and fabric waste mannequin. The base and head are made of stained wood. The item duplicates. The trigger for this behavior is unknown. No correlation can be found in either the number of duplications that manifest during an episode or the duration for which they last before disappearing. Ah, so they disappear eventually. Nice. Now then. Uh, what we were actually there to do? Investigate the safe room. No. The face of the end, we find the prime candidate program. Closed cases, security panopticon. Open says me. Well, that's back to where we, uh, that's like a shortcut. Ah, uh, I don't like that. Not one bit. Bright Falls Summary. Ah, oh, dash 35. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation at Cauldron Lake, Washington, resulted in a fictional story written by the author Alan Wake, creating an awe in which reality was altered to match that of the story, though only locally and for a limited time. Mr. Kirkland, head of investigations, was alerted on September 13th, 2010, by ex-bureau agent Frank Breaker, see redacted, that an awe event was taking place in Bright Falls, Washington, refer to events investigated in 1970, 1976, 1978. Breaker had received a call from Barry Wheeler, Alan Wake's literary agent, on behalf of Breaker's daughter, Sarah, who is the current sheriff of Bright Falls. A bureau field team arrived at the site two days later, only to confirm that the event was over. Interviews were conducted, referred to the 1970 Thomas Zane, uh, redacted Thomas Zane, 1976-1978 Odin Anderson, Tor Anderson. Alan Wake was believed to redacted instigator. Uh, eyewitness reports highlight an old light switch possible object power that redacted missing. Wake was not found at the scene. Reports claim he dived into the lake, but nobody was recovered in the search. Interesting. So remember what I said about dolls? Pretty creepy dude. I know it's a puppet, which isn't exactly the same, but close enough. Who's ready to have nightmares? If this is what they raised Dylan on, then I understand why Dylan is the way he is. <sighs> Same. I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones? Uncle Mr. Bones. Wrong? Thanks, Uncle Mr. Bones. I did bad on my clairvoyance test. Honestly, you same. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Some brains can talk to each other. Whoa. We call this ESP. ESP? What? It's, what? That's a, a baby on his face. Like that makes me uncomfortable. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no so what about the third one? If you fail your clairvoyance test, maybe your brain can throw baseballs or talk to dead people or make friends blind. <sighs> Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> Whoa. What if I don't want the big chair? What if I don't want the big chair? 
Everyone wants the big jam, Hank! True. That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. I don't think I like Uncle Mr. Bones. This is rude. Not a fan. Okay, P7. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? Oh! It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. It's me. It's me, right? That is... I was wondering if it was me, but I didn't want to say. Paranoid. I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers. It could have. they just stood by and watched me. Well, yeah. It's kind of what they do. Yo, I got a new outfit for that? Nice! Uh, Jesse Fade in movement tracking. Uh, 19, 9 2019 departs Cheyenne, Wyoming. Uh, arrives in Sydney, Nebraska? Departs Sydney, Nebraska. Arrives in Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, departs Des Moines, Iowa. Damn, all these... traveling. Uh, arrives in Chicago. Departs Chicago. Arrives in South Bend, Indiana. Uh, departs South Bend, Indiana. Arrives in Cleveland. Departs Cleveland. Arrives in Bloomsburg. Departs Bloomsburg. Arrives in New York City. Ah. I see. It was us on the way. Definitely not watching that again. Uh, what's this? We used to play there all the time. Me and I did an interview? And other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember, was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. Uh -huh. We went inside, and that's where we. Piss off, Bureau Alert! I'm busy. A dump is a place for lost things. Things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Is my psychiatrist calling me trash? Hello? Yes, but that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Who doesn't? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? These are very pointed that questions. You uncomfortable? No, that's just stupid. Come on. That has nothing to do with this. Nothing. The slide projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting, you know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there. I did that with Away TVs. Your parents. I don't. <sighs> I thought that would be cool as hell. I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. That, that psychiatrist was a little, uh, a little heated with those questions, though, I gotta say. You, you gotta, you gotta finesse these kind of answers out of people. Can't just slam them with them, you know? Studied what happened in ordinary here. Oh! That's we get our own sign. Thinking. Nice! Hey. Oh, that's the wrong gun. Unfortunate. Yeet! Tried to line it up. He doesn't want to get redacted. I can't blame him. Yay. Finish him. Mm, get redacted. Can I? Okay. Satisfying. I feel a little bad. 
Even if uh, it was an ephemeral partnership, that was still a homie. Uh, work chat, dead dog. I see your creepy teeth delivery and raise you a dead dog. Yeah, like a straight up deceased dog had a collar on it and everything. It had been rotting in that box since they packed it up. Go ahead and imagine how it smelled. So don't go whining to me. I wish I got to watch a parade of human teeth. Ugh. Why? I mean, neither. Why would you wish for either of those things? How about neither? It's like people who say, oh, "What is your uh, what is your dream job?" Bro, my dream job is sitting around playing video games all day, doing absolutely nothing. You, you dream about working? Fuck. Uh, Willow, ah, uh, shipping manifest. Uh, inventory list of recovered materials. A hollow sphere, stone-like material. A vitrified soil. Redacted pieces of various size and colors. Animal carcass, possibly canine. A uh, rusted metal bucket, leather wallet, aged shotgun cartridge, all materials to go to the investigation sector for further analysis. I hear the more your shotgun cartridges are aged, the spicier they get. It's just a, a rumor I heard. Uh, Entropic Echo. Prime Candidate Program, Transit Court. Are we not in the Prime Transit Program? The, the Prime Candidate Program, excuse me. That's where we literally just were. Anything down here? That looks like a fun time. Oh yeah, we are, we are there. That's why that's highlighted. Uh, hello? Please leave me alone. Dylan and I were both prime candidates. Now, were we prime candidates before or after? Uh, or were we prime candidates before the uh, the ordinary? Uh, or were we prime candidates as a result of the ordinary? Uh. Could be both, could be neither. Who really knows? I'm gonna need y'all to stay the hell away from me. Come on over, homie. Get redacted. It's fine. Uh, you'll love it. Yay. Get out of here. Yay. Yo, I just realized we're at 49,000, like, credits or whatever. Wait, the New York City subway is right there? That can't be safe. We're going back home. Uh, well, let's go ahead and do that. Being able to tank stuff is really nice. Of course we are. I'll finish listening to what you have to say in a second, Jesse. Upgrade shatter, upgrade grip. I think I'm more likely to use grip over shatter. But maybe we can do both. Yeet. I should have been sa well. Never mind. I was gonna say we should be saving for spin since I use that, but uh, yeah, we knew we need those corrupted samples, and we're just not getting those yet. It started there, and it's never gone away. It's never gone away. Well. Good thing, because uh, we'll have to wait for that part for the next episode. So, I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did and you haven't already, make sure you dab on that you like, yeet that subscribe button, turn notifications on. Help me reach that 100 subscriber goal by the end of the year. And, uh, yeah, if you want, feel free to check out my streams on weekdays uh, from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern U.S. time, EST. Uh, check out my socials in the description if you're interested in that. And, uh, yeah, come see me in the next one. Yeet.